immediately from the officials. That's I barely a... saw it as I was watching the puck. Now Kim is going after home after the whistle again. Ah, oh, Kim. The voice you hear is color analyst Bruce McDonald. What he says next is flat out inexcusable. Give it a break. Get on a ladder and talk to him. Anyway, uh, push the pace. You're going to draw penalties for sure. Does he speak English? That's right. You heard correctly because a player is of Asian descent. Even though he's from Canada, McDonald invoked this. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, okay, come on. That's too far. Oh, well, that's no, wrong. that's too that's far. That's wrong. That's too far. Uh, Yeah, it was too far. Good on the play-by-play -play man, Evan Hammond, however. Bruce McDonald, seen here, is now facing the consequences for his actions. The CBC reported shortly after the incident the following. Alberni Valley Bulldogs cover commentator Bruce McDonald was calling a playoff game against the Langley Rivermen on Friday when he asked whether Rivermen forward Owen Kim speaks English. The comment came after Kim was involved in a dust-up in the second period. And quite honestly, a surprising move in my opinion. Mid-game, the Valley Bulldogs president said McDonald was pulled off air shortly after making that comment, meaning he did not complete the game in the broadcast booth. This is a hell of a stand that should be applauded throughout the sport. He went on to tell Vancouver City News, I got a text message with a little over five minutes to go in the second period from our league office with a clip with the audio. We instantly decided at that point that Bruce would be removed from the broadcast and future broadcasts as far as I'm concerned. He's not welcome back on the air representing our hockey club. It doesn't belong in the game of hockey. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's, not bad. it's not a good feeling, I'll tell you that. Speaking with City News, Kim gave his raw emotions. The BCHL said in a statement that the league has zero tolerance for this type of behavior and that McDonald has been banned from any future broadcasts. In addition, the radio station that hosted Friday's broadcast issued its own statement early Saturday morning saying McDonald's comments were extremely offensive, inappropriate, and have no place on our station. Racism has no place in hockey, the statement read. Racism has no place on our radio stations nor in our company. I just want to reiterate something as the CBC wrote in their story. Owen Kim Hills from North Vancouver. The preposterousness with which McDonald analyzed what occurred on the air was not only racist, but incredibly, and I mean incredibly stupid. And we will be right back here live after the national anthem, ladies and gentlemen. Well, looks like these two announcers forgot to mute their mics. The broadcasters swear when seeing high school women's b-ball players take a knee. Yep, he said it, calling high schoolers the n-word because of a silent gesture. And yes, we are back here in the booth, sponsored by the KKK. Enjoy the broadcast. Utterly, unequivocally racist from this announcer. A network announcer called members of Norman High's girls basketball team N-words during a game against Midwest City Thursday night, wrote the Black Wall Street Times. The quote, once again, printed by TMZ, of course with asterisks, because of how freaking vile and bigoted it was. And the whole reason we know about this, Frankie Parks, a coach for Norman High School, tweeted it out. Mika Perry, a University of Florida commit, tweeted two photos side by side with the caption, this is why we kneel. Senior Shante Embry, a commit to Texas Tech University, tweeted, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess disgusting and people want to know why we kneel here's a prime example of why we do it i'm proud of my team and i for using our voices and being heard i love my girls and let's finish hashtag more than an athlete as in lebron's company motto